we all become children the second we gaze upon her work. A simple, elegant, and seductive trap. The second we stand and watch, we do not want to leave. Because the essence of the trap is its nostalgia-evoking properties. We refuse to walk back into the cold and gray world of our lives because what we see in front of us is jazz. And what is jazz without a bit of candy? Welcome. We're very happy to have you here. I love um, it. This is Laurence Jenkel's pop-up gallery at the Port Authority. She started this exhibition entitled Crossroads of the World. As a little girl, her parents um, vehemently prohibited her from I'm consuming eating candy. Yeah, eating candy. Wow. No sweets, nothing. My and goodness. they actually used to take her to the dentist and she had a mean, mean dentist who would show her photos of decaying teeth, terrible looking teeth, and <laughs> to scare her so that she wouldn't ever eat candy. It sounds like she got robbed of her childhood. Yeah, in I know. Way. Like, so like, wow. she did, yeah. yeah. So um, she had nightmares about this as a child, and she had nightmares about candy. And nightmares about yeah, candy. Yeah, I know. And one day, <clears throat> much later on, she finally got over it, and she did it through art. And she started creating all of these amazing sculptures that you can see in miniature, in large sizes. Um, and that was kind of her release when she finally got over that trauma, if you will. Catharsis <clears throat> through candy. That's right. Wow. <laughs> How do you like that? That's pretty cool. Yeah. I and mean, if you look at this kind of thing, you know, these materials, they need to be, and you can touch it, it's okay. This, um, is, this is a plexiglass, right? Yeah, this is a plexiglass or a polyester. Um, there's aluminum sheet, there's bronze that she works with, marble. So there's several different medias that she works with. Um, but of course, this kind of thing, for her to twist it and wrap it the way that she has, which is what she's really well known for, you have to heat this thing up. Since so like she so. starts with the flat piece of resin, let's say. And it's, she slides it into the oven. And when she started doing this, she had no idea how long this resin had to be in the oven. Many times it would bubble up and kind of yeah. melt away. Other times it wasn't hot enough for her to manipulate. Maybe it shrinks, maybe it expands. Yeah, all these different things. So she finally, I mean, it took months to figure it out, depending on the medium that she was using, but she finally figured out what temperatures these things became malleable at. You'll see over here, we have a small version of one of her flag candies, okay? Yes, the of America over we there. Have, of course. <laughs> um, but outside, through the rest of the Port Authority, we have 20 more, and they're six and a half feet. Right, I think I saw Just the, the sculpture. I not think I remember the seeing base. the European Union flag. Yes, the EU's yeah. out there. Mm -hmm. All the members of the G20 commissioned Laurence to create their flags in the candy um, for the G20 summit in Cannes, France in 2011. 2011. So, and in addition to the giant sculpture, she made a miniature candy, flag candy, and gave it to the head of state of each of the countries of the G20. Here we have Brazil. And what this allowed her to do was kind of return to her roots because early on in her artistic career, she did a lot of stenciling. This is uh -huh. Russia. This is Privet. This is the, this is the, this is the you know, this is the That's the only Russian I speak. <clears throat> the, the land of uh, Borsh and Pilmenia. That's right. Yeah. And then we have Mexico. Si quieres, podemos hablar en español acerca de México. No um, sé, no sé, señor. <laughs> you have to study. But again, here's the stencil. The, the candies are placed all over the Port Authority, as you know. Yes. And the Port Authority has two buildings. There's the North Building and the South Building. Right now, we're in the South Building. Britney Spears yeah. has a music video where she walks into this big house, and right at the front of the house is, I think it's actually this exact piece. Those were the flags, obviously, stunning and world famous, really. Oh, yes, yes. You know? Yes, uh, I bet, you know, it's not exactly the, the cheapest thing to buy, I imagine. No, it's not. Um, obviously, the market dictates 
prices of art, but um, Laurence's work has gone to auction at Christie's and Sotheby's and has sold for as much as 230,000 euros. Do you want to give me like a friend discount? You know, my mother's <laughs> birthday is coming. It depends, well, it depends on which piece you want. You know, she's been hired by Coca-Cola. Um, she's been hired by Mattel, which does all of the Barbie dolls. And right. she had this wonderful exhibition in Paris a few years ago of um, clear candies with Barbie dolls in yes, the I middle. Yes, I saw the picture. Did yeah, you see when that? When she wraps up uh, the transparent candy. Exactly. When she puts like various objects in the Coca-Cola cans yep. or, uh, or, or dolls yep. or old CDs from the, yeah. from the AOL she days. She has some that are filled with newspapers. Right. Um, she likes to draw attention to different things that are going on. This is the result of our mass consumerism. Well, and yeah. that certainly is what she's demonstrating with the twisted trash can right. that's at the gallery on Madison Avenue. And with the elephant. And with the elephant, yeah, absolutely. This is aluminum. So this is obviously much more difficult to work with. Oh, yeah. Um, because it is such a solid a bit material. bit more malleable than plastic, I gotta say. Is it? Yeah, yeah <laughs> it metal bends. Doesn't look it. Yeah. Um, and of course it's huge. I mean, this thing is massive oh, and yeah. weighs a ton. It's hollow, but this is a direction that Laurence has been moving in recently because she's so concerned about um, different environmental issues that we're dealing with. This in particular relates to the senseless poaching of African elephants for right. ivory, which, you know, I read the other day that there are 55 elephants killed every single day in Africa for ivory. There's really not that many elephants to go around. It's wild. I yeah. mean, it's really terrible. So this is her way of drawing attention to that, that crisis. Um, and as you can see, she's taken this technique that she's become so well known for, this wrapping, and she's wrapped the elephant to draw the viewer's attention to perhaps the pain or the struggle that the elephants are dealing with now. Yes, and Lorraine had been so kind to make this open to the public. People could take pictures, video. She allows people to enjoy her art. Children love it. They come in here thinking they're gonna find candy and then they get into, oh, it's an art exhibition and what is made out of it? And they wanna give the point of view what they see on the art. One of the guys came and said, I win this in the lotto, it's mine. <laughs> this is my piece. And he started pushing it. And at the time, Bruno was here, and Bruno said, excuse me, that belongs to my wife. This is Lorenz and Kel. So it was a really funny way to interact with the public. Oh, but yeah. yeah, you know, when they notice they got wheels, they're like, oh. Yeah, that's very cheeky, very yeah. cheeky. plastic that we use to hold our coffee in place, the chrome that is used to drive us to work, we now stand in front of what we have always wanted. Perhaps it is the wrapper, not what's inside, and this wrapper that we cannot unwrap. We know there is nothing. We stand transfixed regardless because we know what it represents. No matter how young or how old we are, we have become victim to not just our desires, but also the secret language of symbols that control our imagination. Like that famous René Magritte priest, this is not a candy. But does it matter? Can you not imagine what this candy would taste like? We have here the wrapper of Jean Col's native France. But what does France taste like? When imagined one does not see the fertile wine lands of the Bordeaux or the labyrinthine streets of Paris. One sees the red, the white, and the blue. One sees a flash of images, all too much to mention. Of course, this is the country of your birth, or even if you have only visited this place, or even not. Perhaps you think of what it would be like in this exotic land, unlike the place of your origin. Yes. That is what that candy tastes like. If you were to take any design possible and see it through, turn it into a candy wrapper, what would you do? <laughs>